Oregon put together a really dominant performance against Oregon State. The final tune-up before the Pac-12 championship game against Washington. We're going to take a look at just some of the schemes, some of the different ways that Oregon was able to take advantage of Oregon State's defense and really played fast, got the ball in space, and definitely seemed like the motivated team in this game. But we're going to dive right into this video, take a look at Oregon's offense against Oregon State. Very first play here, and all we're going to look at is Oregon motioning from a 10 personnel set into a two-back set and running split zone. You can see what they're looking for right here. You've got a really wide defensive end here in this forefront. And as you motion them in, you see this linebacker bumps in, safety rolls down, all this stuff. Really not a big deal. These guys are going to be responsible for basically those three up to whoever shows up right here on the second level. 81 is going to kick the backside C gap. And right here, the one technique or the A gap player slanted all the way to that C gap, so he ends up getting kicked. A couple guys in the outside gap. The other thing that's kind of interesting about this is it's the same side run here from the running back, so they're not reading the backside defensive end on this one. Could be reading an RPO out here on a slant. But right here you see not a lot of great football here happening in the box. You got a tackle falling down. You got these two linebackers bumping each other. So it kind of looks like the Keystone Cops here in the box. But you get a kick. You get a running back playing with a lot of momentum downhill. And right there, falling forward for about seven or eight. Start off in a 10 personnel set. Motion that fullback in. Able to get that split zone and able to get downhill with momentum was really big. And just that kick is something that you got to be aware of because they're gonna come back later in the game with that bluff. Again, here's a look where they're motioning from a 10 personnel set where they're in trips this time, motion that fullback in, and now instead of blocking the defense in, he bluffs and he arcs around up to the linebacker corner. So right here, as you're looking at it, again, they're gonna be responsible for those three up to these two linebackers. And this outside receiver even works up to that safety, which obviously he's gonna be the guy that's gonna have more of a chance to make a tackle, probably the better tackler right there. So on this one, Bo Nix, this time he's got the back coming across right here. And this tight end who had kicked out a couple times on these defensive and now he just jabs at him. You see how he stunts at him, just gives him a stick, and now he works all the way around. And then you get a pull read because he's thinking that he's going to have to squeeze this kick block. Bo Nix pulls it. Outside receiver's up on the safety. The guy that bluffed right there, that tight end's all the way out there, going to pin this corner who had been playing man-to-man, -man, so he chased it. Basically took two for one when that receiver worked into that safety. They're able to circle the defense right there. Bo Nix in the end zone for a touchdown off that bluff of that defensive end. And right here you can see, just like the previous play, brought him across and they had kicked this defensive end. But on this one, he just jabs. Easy read here for the quarterback. Dean's eyes are on that running back. He's squeezing that thing tight. Pin that safety. Let that fullback get all the way around to the corner. And Bo Nix, obviously, athlete that he is, able to run, get into the end zone right there, circling the defense. Great play. Great change up right there on that bluff. This is a look right here of a two-by-two two set going double post here on the outside. Back's working across, going to the flats. And we'll see what Bo Nix is looking for right here. Once the ball gets snapped, he really takes his eyes to the left side to hold this safety right here to make sure that he doesn't roll to the middle of the field. So he holds him for just a little bit. This isn't just a huge look off. As far as his eyes, he just glances over there to make sure that he's not rolling to one high look. Now he's getting back side. You're looking for the first post right there. And you see this linebacker has dropped underneath it, making it hard to throw that post. Down the middle of the field right there, he's breaking across his face. And there's another post right there working in through the window here as well. As you see, that window's really tight to throw that, almost like a bang eight, pretty deep. But right here, Bo Nix, he saw that backer get depth, corners getting depth, flip it out there to your guy in space. That much space right there with one of the best players in the country. No chance, it's a race to the end zone. And Oregon was able to win those track meets for most of the night. This play's no exception. Big touchdown here for Oregon early in the game. For everybody that watched the Washington game, these plays look familiar right here. This fullback works out. He's going to the flats, getting a corner. You're getting a stick right here. And once this guy motions out, it's pretty obvious man-to-man. -man, he's going with them. And really that motion is to try to get these guys' eyes and see who the man is so they can get a rub on that guy, make him go over the top. So getting a vertical, uh, he's working in. He knows who's man-to-man. -man. He actually works that vertical instead of working into him to try to make him go over the top. So great job fighting, almost running the guy that's manned up on him into the defender that's manned up on three. Sprint out right there for Bo Nix. Easy throwing catch right there at the sideline. Gets rocked. But right there, that's all you're looking for is just that space. Great job being physical there by the outside receiver. Working his guy into him, making sure that he goes well over the top. Easy throwing catch. If they wouldn't have liked this, maybe they switch it off. Now this receiver would work, start working out with the quarterback and be that second option. Obviously, you got a corner over the top there with the inside receiver. That had released vertical, but right there, obviously, first option, take it. Easy first down there for Oregon. This play right here is a heck of a throw and catch, and it's a really good concept as well. A lot of people have been running it. It's just the old shallow thing. You're getting double post right here. He's working across going to the flats. He's going here shallow, and he's working up into that area. So basically you're getting double post, and you're getting a smash route on the underneath coverage here. So we'll take a look at it and see what happens. 
Here's a little bit of early motion right there with the bat getting him wide. You see his end drops with it. This way it looks like he's going to be the flat player. This safety that it rolled down is playing off quite a bit. Chasing that post thing, it could be a seam right there. Definitely want to give up a seam in a one high look. As you're looking here backside, going extremely shallow here with the outside receiver, right at that linebacker's toes. Now he sticks it, going over the top right here. You got a corner that's chasing. There's a linebacker's feeling that as well, so he starts getting a lot of depth, makes this a really difficult throw. Great ball here by Bo Nixon, and also a great catch there. That's not a huge window. Really good defense here by Oregon State, but it's sometimes a good throw and catch, just like on this one. We'll beat good coverage, and that's what happens on this play. Window's probably about two feet by two feet. Fits it in there with a good two ball. Gets to his guy for a big explosive play. This look right here, they're motioning into an empty set, just like the 49ers and a lot of teams with running backs, they like to get into the passing game do. And to me, it looks like they're running an option route right here. You're running an out and some sort of a basic here to the middle of the field. Getting a bit of blitz right here. Mike's firing. The O-line doesn't sort to it like I thought they would. And they are hot right here with this outside linebacker blitzing. To me, if I was talking with a quarterback on this with that out route and a basic and some sort of an option route here on this linebacker, is I'm going to read whoever stays in the box if you feel like there's a blitz coming. Whoever stays there, he's either got to close the window here to that option route or he's got to close the window here to the basic. So right here, as the play started, he slides that direction a little bit. So now I'm going to try to work that window between the between the curl defender and the middle backer. And right there just works that window, gets it out just in time on that basic, puts it right on his chest, can't be any more accurate than this. Getting hit as he's throwing it. Great patience, great throw and catch right there on a basic, working in the middle of the field with that option route to the backside. This is another look of Oregon just taking advantage of this mic and reading whichever direction he works. So right here, it's a bit of a snag. On that side, you're getting the back out to the flats, and you're working a slant or an option route there to the middle. I believe they just run off here on the outside. But as you're looking at it, that back free releases. You're getting a vertical to the corner right there on that. Inside release, he's sitting it down right there about the hash and Really easy read here for the quarterback. If you can catch it right there and see that Mike flying out with the running back, now you know you're working backside. There's a huge window right there to the middle of the field, and that's what they're running right here and taking advantage of that space. So right here, if you're watching this option route, he comes off, he paces himself, lets everything play out. Hard stick, gets him leaning just enough. Right in the middle of the field, good accurate throw right there on his face mask, letting him get vertical in that same big play for him. And, of course, if this linebacker wouldn't have let him slant, the rule would be, hey, slant till you can't. If this guy gets collision right here, now he's working back out. That'd be a ton of space right there on an out cut, basically like a V cut in basketball. But right there, one on the first option, which is the slant. Easy throw and catch right there in the middle of the field for a good play. We got this play on here because this is just a stupid throw right here. Great throw here by Bo Nix. And right here, they're in an empty set. Oregon State's walk down, making like they're bringing six. So right here, you're going to be hot from somewhere if they do bring six. Looks like the line should be sliding that way, which is typically what you want to do. You want to slide the line towards the quarterback's arm and leave that from a, the left side right there so you can roll away if you need to. But right here, looks like this right tackle or guard or somebody's not sliding like they should. They get a free rusher. And on this one, somehow Bo Nix buys enough time and throws a corner route off his back foot, which obviously right here, if you got those guys, six guys low, really no safety help. So right there, gives ground, throws this route out there on the corner, just lets his guy run to it. Great anticipation, just a really good football play and really savvy play there from Bo Nix. Just buying enough time, get the ball out, let your guy adjust to it with no safety help. There's another look here of Bo Nix just being a really savvy football player. On What they're faking here is just a sweep and a toss. You're getting a fullback here, so this is a neck. You don't have anybody blocking this defensive end, so he's free getting into the quarterback's face. You're really hoping that if you do run that naked, that somebody's blitzing right there and you got a free fullback there to the flats. But right here, he's giving ground. He's in his face. He didn't out leverage his outside linebacker. The crosser's not there either. So right here, it just looks like Bo Nix is just buying time to throw this thing away. But right there, great athlete throwing this thing, falling away with his shoulders all the way closed. Barely can get his hips through right here at all. This is an unbelievable throw. This thing that he's probably just throwing it away, but instead, about a 9, 10-yard gain on that comeback with absolutely no momentum to get that ball there. All the arm right there by Bo Nix. Extremely athletic play, extremely smart play there as well, understanding where his outlets were and that he could get that ball out. Really impressive play there by Bo Nix. This play, there's a lot of stuff going on really quickly. And right here, just that little bit of motion like they had done, had done in the past, making it like they're going to empty, and they just run inside or mid zone to the right. Here's your bubble for the RPO. Once he bumped out, this guy started bumping in, and it almost freezes him right here. He should be playing outside the box because this is an RPO on this. 
If he doesn't play outside the box on this bubble, they can block one, block two. There's your read. There's tons of space out there to throw it. So right there, Bo Nix shows the ball, sees him sliding in, pops his feet, gets this thing out as fast as he can. Great job here on the outside, taking care of your man. Here's the safety rolling down late. There's that linebacker that they already read. Tons of space. Too much right there to make a play. Great blocking there on the edge. Makes the safety and outside linebacker miss. Interesting call right there, just that little bit of motion. Bring the running back back with RPO, reading that outside backer. Really froze that guy. He's able to get the ball out there in space, which is what they wanted to do all night. Oregon might be the best team in the country as far as getting screens out to their fullbacks and tight ends. And right here, they do it again. So right here, hard inside step here by this tight end, making it look like they're running some sort of a play action or a boot. You get a puller here, then everybody else is getting out to lead in front. Let him rush, wash him by, and turn to the quarterback. Great timing there by the quarterback, getting it up and around. You got one, two, three, four guys working here, trying to rat kill, trying to take most dangerous. Really good job here by this guy, not doing a blindside block or a clip or anything. He's just running, trying to high side that guy and rip in front, which is what he does right here. Just gets his body in front of that guy, and then there's the tight end. Trying to make a guy miss. Good play, though. Again, misdirection. Anytime on a first and 10, you can get a little misdirection, get the completion to big body guy, make these guys run, get into their legs, maybe make them tired. It's always good. Misdirection early in a drive can a lot of times make these guys second guess their technique. Again, I thought it was really impressive what Oregon did to Oregon State. They just came out and they took care of business. Really showed a mature team and a mature coaching staff was able to come out and have some wrinkles that were really effective and they were able to play fast. The more confident team that played faster and it was really evident right there against a good Oregon State team. But if you got any value out of this video, please like and subscribe and get some merchandise from offflipdesigns.com. There'll be a link in the description and some pinned comments. But I know everybody's looking forward to the Oregon-Washington game coming up in Las Vegas and I'm sure we'll see you guys in that video here in about a week. But we'll see you guys in the next video.